Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday to you. Today is Tuesday, February 9th. Today, I want to introduce you to a gentleman who I just adore, and his name is Kobe Bryant. And Kobe Bryant was a father, he was a coach, and he also played basketball. And the one thing as a coach he felt he needed to do is help students of the game, students of basketball, really understand what they could do in the world. So look at Kobe's quote. The most important thing is to try and inspire people so that they can be great in whatever they want to do. So he always helped others. That's what the word inspire means. So the most important thing is to try and inspire people, inspire them to be the best that they can be. Guess what time it is? It's time for some shout outs. The first shout out goes to Reading Plus in a fifth grade with Miss Madigan's class. Alex, congratulations to you. I heard that you leveled up in Reading Plus vocabulary. The next one goes to two students that completed some key things in extra math. Congratulations to Isaiah. You finished all your subtraction facts. Way to go. Brian, I want to give you a star because I heard you completed it all, all your extra math already this school year. Way to go. Do you like my big elephant? Well, you can see the first name. The first name is Mr. Johnson. I want to give a shout out from Mrs. Brown because I hear you are really helping with some of the things for second grade. Way to go, Mr. Johnson. I also want to give a shout out for Mrs. Rutledge or Miss Rutledge because Miss Rutledge and Miss Evans' classes are working on notebooks in Seesaw. Apparently, it's easier for the teachers to correct and easier for the students to keep track of everything. So great job to those students that are working in notebooks. And my last shout out is to Miss Pappen's class at Lakeview Elementary. I saw today there was a teacher that had him rearrange things. And so uh, your parents got an email about some asynchronous instructions. So way to be flexible. And there goes my elephant walking down and out. I'm sure hoping I spelt the word allegiance right, the Pledge of Allegiance. I want to tell you how you can get chosen for doing the Pledge of Allegiance. I know your teachers have put it out for most of you onto Flipgrid so you can click and make the recording and maybe get selected to do the pledge. So in order to get selected for doing the pledge, we're looking for people that can stand up or sit properly, not laying on your bed, not laying on your tummy, because this is a sign of respect. The next thing is that you speak clearly. In other words, that we can understand you. And so really practice the Pledge of Allegiance before you tape it. And it is okay to have decorations or a frame, but remember, we're saying the Pledge of Allegiance. So if you're doing something like that, you saw Mrs. Braun yesterday, and she just had a United States flag up. And yes, it is okay to have your family in the Pledge of Allegiance. So if you want to say the Pledge of Allegiance as a family and do a recording, absolutely. Now, if you did a recording already and you wanted to redo your recording, you, you may do that too. So I know Mrs. Overdahl had made a seesaw um, slide that she had shared with the second grade teachers or some of the second grade teachers. But we would love your submissions for the Pledge of Allegiance. Now, before we get going for the Pledge of Allegiance, I just want to say it has been great to do morning announcements with you. And now, let's get... Go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. Under one nation, un one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mm -hmm. And great job to our two students that did the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you, Serafina, who is a student at Plymouth Middle School, and to Lucas, who is at Meadow Lake Elementary School. See you tomorrow. Bye.